Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. You can see that tail in the camera. That is old Tesla Cat. Now I'm here to bring you the best stocks to buy now, and we're gonna be picking one of them. I got the choice, I got the five choices up here. We're gonna have the community vote on it. We're gonna add it to the YouTube portfolio. These are five different stocks, and uh, I think you'll be interested in them. So we're gonna go through them now. Before we do, hit that like button and absolutely crush that subscribe button for me. It would help me out. And on top of that, I'll even let you see old Tesla Cat's face here. Let him get it up there. But the lights are bright in his face so we won't leave them up there too long and we're going to get into this before we do like i said though hit that uh moo moo link down below you get a free share of plug right now put a hundred dollars in deposit a hundred dollars or more and you get a free share of plug which is worth over 40 something bucks and it's only on my channel that you can do that any other link won't do that but you can also get up to five free stocks worth up to 3500 each that is seventeen thousand five hundred dollars worth of possibilities plus the plug stock so i do recommend taking advantage of the moo moo link now also we do have my patreon link down there i do recommend this and the tip ranks tip ranks right now i got that link down there and they're giving you 30 percent off black friday sale and it goes through the weekend so you can take advantage of that uh, as i said we're going to get into the portfolio first and this is over at the patreon i have my link down below you can watch all my buys and sells and of course the private discord thousands of members of crypto and stock channels is perfect to come on over and take it to the next level you can see we we got hit hard on Friday and we dropped down to 33,000. We were around 40, 39, 40,000. So it did drop down a, a good chunk, which we, we, we would expect after all that red. It was crazy. Uh, but like I said, I still think there's a good shot that we could see this. If we can have a run and see this thing hit a bottom and run up, but that new uh, Omicron, Percy I8, whatever Futurama, that was a little Futurama joke for those out there. I used to watch that show all the time. But anyways, the new COVID variant out there, Omicron, as they just named it uh, yesterday, it's putting a lot of rattle into the, in the markets, both the crypto and the stocks. For those that have been around, remember, we saw all this back in the first second week of July with the growth stocks and crypto everything kind of came down and it happened for a, a couple of weeks and then it rebounded quickly and went to new highs I think we might see something similar this time as well you're seeing uh, flights being restricted from different countries and so there are some concerns I'm watching out there so we'll see how that works out but right now like I said here's the portfolio the first of the best stocks to buy now remember I'm adding this but I'm liquidating this portfolio at the end of the year so I can free that money up to do some other investments and that means most likely it's going to be all of it and I'm going to go ahead and do something fun for the next year for 2022 and this one though I like Hertz Global and we're seeing a lot of news out there about Hertz. Of course, we're watching the commercials. Of course, you hear about the Tesla, uh, the Teslas are getting in there. A lot of things out there, but more importantly, there's some talk out there about a possible share buyback. So this would be a good one, I think, to get into. If there's a share buyback, a lot of the professionals out there value in this company at at least $30 a share, if not more. And especially with the share buyback, that would put a lot of upward pressure on that price. I would be excited to see that. If it doesn't happen, I still think this, and uh, when you do comparatives of other, uh, I'd say companies in this sector, this is selling at a discount. And so I do like this one. So uh, this is fine with me. Uber, the next of the best stocks to buy. Now, this is one I think, I call it a kind of recovery play. And I thought once we got down there in September around 38, anything around there within 10% to me is in the buy zone because I would expect after this thing, uh, you know, we get through COVID down the road, just like South Park, you know, when's it gonna be? And they showed a show 40 years in the future, like we almost, be COVID and that was the headlines it's almost done and it's like it's what we're gonna hear forever and ever and ever but you know there will come a day that a lot of this is taken care of one way or the other either it's normalized and they have treatments or whatever but this will have uh, a lot of business when people start going out they're doing their thing and so I would expect to see this starting to get up to those year highs again which if you look at this this thing is down a boatload 35% uh, to get back up there close to 70 though, this thing would have to go up almost 70%. So it's crazy to see these numbers. And so I thought, hey, if this trading down there buy that those year lows, I'm gonna jump in. And so this is another one that I would not have any problem adding in, especially, you know, uh, into the YouTube portfolio because we could see some movement uh, moving forward here. AMD, I talked about the metaverse. Now this is the next of the best stocks to buy now. We'll say for 2022. 
the, the November, December edition here, but you know what? This is one, I talked about the metaverse. They had a big deal. They got uh, Facebook Meta, the company Meta. They got a big multi-billion dollar deal with them. This looks fantastic for that. And they're, uh, the, the money should continue to come in as more and more companies out there are looking to get into the metaverse, which some are saying it could be a multi-trillion dollar industry. Uh, other uh, estimates are saying by 2025 could be up around 800 billion. So there's a lot of money to be made and people want to get started on that. So they're getting the orders into AMD and some other chip makers out there. And we're going to talk about that. But this is definitely one that I thought has some potential. You can see that it's already starting to run. So uh, I would think if we look at uh, just saying one more month left, it could continue this run just for a month. We could see another Hopefully, just like this, 23% up, maybe another 10 to 20% on top of that. You don't know, but we'll find out sooner than later. And another chip company I like, Intel. So this is the next of my list of best stocks to buy now. Yeah, I wanted to try five different ones, and we'll find out which one you go to. But look at this P.E. ratio, 9.42 or 47. Talk about a value play that has the potential as a lot of the tech out there is being upgraded to trying to get into this metaverse. Everybody's racing and rushing. I think Intel will have something to say about that as well, somewhere and somehow. And so anyways, I do like Intel just because of this. And uh, you can see it's like catching a falling knife from those highs. And it's down to the point it's basically a steal in my book. Look at this drop in price, 28% since back in April. To me, it's almost down at year lows. This is this is a steal. This, to me, this is a steal. I have no fears about this. I'm not worried about it. You know, when it's down this low, trading at this level compared to the PE ratio, it's ridiculous. This should be almost 50% higher, if not a little bit over 50% higher to get to that uh, PE of 15 to make it normal value, but it's not. So this is one I'm definitely looking into for next year as well. I think there's some opportunities when you, after a year, it's only up 2.88%. That is crazy. And the last Last of the best stocks to buy now, and I'm going to go through and see which one you picked here shortly, is Ford. I wanted to go with Ford because look at this over the last month, 27%. Uh, Could it continue? Well, there's a few things. One, it owns Rivian. And how much of Rivian? Well, we can go in there and see it owns 12% of Rivian. So when you see Rivian worth over $100 billion, remember 12% of that value goes right to Ford. And Ford is doing its own thing in EVs, which I think, you know, investing, I think, 30 plus billion dollars. So I'm excited to see where all this has gone and uh, we'll find out. But at the end of the day, they were the picks I went with and we'll see what Wall Street thinks. Nothing, only one person here, and that's from five months ago at $18 price target for Hertz, but that was five months ago, way, 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 way. So I like anything under a month and I don't have anything. So we move in to the other tip ranks. And I do got the link down below. Like I said, this is a, a sale right now. You can get 30% off this, I highly recommend it. But you can see 70% upside potential for Uber. I like that and that's what I mean by high risk. I'm trying an AMD. They have this at 8% downside because it's run up so much, but there's a lot of estimates at 165, 70, 180, 180. So that could be another, you know, 15, 20% up. And then Intel, they have that at 10% upside potential. And then finally, the last of the best stocks to buy now, Ford, they have it uh, right here. It's red, but it does say 1.63% upside. So there's a little bit of room for some of these. I actually think this could run up another 25% next year in the next 12 months. So we'll see. Now we get into which of these did the public take. Now, personally, I would like to go with Hertz. I'm just going to put it out there. I like Hertz. I would be okay with uh, Ford as well. I think AMD could continue to run or Uber, but if I had to pick, I would probably pick Hertz as the most risky. But also I think with a lot of the big uh, analysts out there looking at the saying this should be worth 30 or over, I don't think there's as much risk as people believe. So I, that's what I would say. I'd say COVID could mess this up depending. So let's go ahead and update this and see who everyone picked. Uh, and as we get into it, it is not Hertz, it's AMD. They're going with the big name. And so that's fine, it's already had a nice run up. And right now with 2.5 thousand votes and AMD is leading it, it looks easily. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect that one to get picked. I actually thought it would have been one of the higher risks. But right now AMD solid, getting the orders coming in like I said. And right, it should be able to continue that march forward, making more and more money. So this is my update for today. If you haven't done it, like I said, these uh, are the best stocks to buy now. Go out there and do that due diligence. See if it, any of these would fit into the portfolio. 
and uh, find out if you can join me on this journey a little bit. If you'd like to, click on that link down below, get that free share of plug, 40 something dollars for depositing 100 or more. It doesn't get much better than that, to be serious with you. Uh, you also get up to five free stocks worth up to 3,500 each. Uh, if the random number generator is on your side, you're going to be a, a, a happy person. So if you do get one of the big ones, put it in the comments. I'm actually curious. Uh, and then, of course, I do have some links down to my Patreon. Take advantage of that. Come over and check it out. See my portfolios when I'm buying and selling. Take that investing in the next level. Come over and join us. Then I do have uh, uh, Crypto.com link down there where we can both get 25 bucks in Crow Coin. If you stake some Crow Coin over there, I, I do recommend that. And Coinbase giving you some free Bitcoin just for doing the email and ID verification and sign up. I do have a lot of Ethereum stake there, which I do recommend. And then uh, BlockFi, which gives you up to 250 in free Bitcoin for deposit. So there are a lot of opportunities out there. Good way to, after we're spending money all shopping weekend, to get some back. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.